Welcome to Ogle's Town. Thanks for watching today. Now today we have another special turtle unboxing. We have the uh, Turtle Blimp reissue from Walmart to 2021 edition. They're finally starting to hit the Walmart stores a little more. Um, I got mine offline. But um, first things when you when you look at the box here, there is one core difference in this one and the original. And I personally wouldn't know it because I never had the original Turtle Blimp as a kid. But um, I've read a few things about it and the where, where the blimp itself is um, completely original, it seems like, the design on it. The uh, plastic piece below there where the turtles sit is not gonna be the re, uh, the original uh, 80s turtle blimp uh, plastic piece. That's gonna be a reissue of, I believe it said 2012. And so Walmart's sort of trying to pass this off as a completely original reissue, especially if it's a retro art on the front and things like that. But um, it's sort of a hybrid, really, when it comes to it. But that's still pretty cool to me. Um, obviously, I'd rather be completely original, but I'm still pretty excited to have the hybrid because I never had a turtle blimp as a kid. So this is the very first turtle blimp for me. But uh, let's go and take a look at the box overall, and then we'll do an unboxing. All right, so we have the uh, the front of the box here. Of course, we've got the, the Core Turtles logo up there. Turtle blimp, wacky attack aircraft, blows up to 30 inches long. And of course, the artwork here looks um, looks amazing. And of course, you have the original uh, artwork for the Turtle Blimp. However, the artwork down here is um, has been redone a little bit because that's not the original plastic piece. So all of this down here is um, somewhat new for that, but they, they definitely tried to make it look like it was back in the same old style, which is pretty cool on there. Most of this, I assume, is probably original. Once again, the Choking Hazard might not have been on there um, originally, um, but I reckon everything else, minus that little part right there, is pretty original. But let's take a look at the side. Uh, on the side here, of course, we have the uh, Turtles logo, some information about copyright. The Nickelodeon logo would not have been on the original, and nor would the um, website, YouTube, and Facebook as well. But everything else, it's pretty darn original on there. Let's take a look at the sides. On the side here, it says um, Turtle Blimp, once again, Wacky Attack Aircraft. Same information there. We got a little picture here, of course, what the Turtle Blimp looks like in action. Of course with the actual figures but let's take a look at the uh the back of the box and of course on the back of the box we have the you know the turtle blimp itself um a little bit of a story off to the side mutant madness from the clouds now the incredibly wacky turtle blimp you can help the turtles patrol the evil shredder and his band of stinky cohorts the foot clan and of course a little bit more about the uh the zeppelin over here or i'm sorry the zapping zeppelin from the sky um of course it tells us we got a little picture down here about a turtle repelling system and of course you can see that there and you can see it on the main uh, turtle blimp itself and once again all of that um is not the original turtle blimp that's the 2012 model once again i don't know why they you know with a hybrid of these two but that's going to be uh the 2012 uh model for that the blimp itself it has you know nifty patch kit included that's nice you know in case the cat gets a hold of it it looks like we have a mounting system some flight fins Overall, uh, I'm pretty darn excited to get this open and uh, take a look at it. Let's go ahead and open the blimp up and see how it looks. All right, so looking at here, we of course have a lot of empty space. I'm sure they uh, could have condensed this down to make a smaller box for packaging, but I'm sure they made it larger. That way it looked like you're getting a, a bigger toy because obviously this is a big toy once it's inflated. But uh, there was no reason for a box of, uh, of this size with all the empty space. But let's go ahead and take all this out of the packaging and, uh, of course, uh, take a look at in each individual piece. All right, first thing we have here is the uh, vinyl plastic repair kit. Put some instructions on there as well. Uh, neat, nifty to have. We also have the uh, instructions here. I love how this looks like a, a giant raisin. <laughs> That's pretty pretty great, and if we need any help, we'll refer to the instructions here in a, in a little bit. <laughs> All right, so we have the uh, what looked like the uh, giant raisin in the instructions. Already, guys, the uh, turtle blimp, deflated anyway, is um, a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So um, that's pretty awesome, but um, we'll look at it more when it's, of course, inflated. Let's get the rest of this out of the package.
All right, so we have the uh, the mounting system here. Um, I have it upside down there. This actually reminds me of a uh, like a He-Man toy I had back in the day. I don't know which toy it was, but there's something about it that definitely reminds me. Uh, I presume this is the repelling system. Uh, it doesn't look like. Oh my gosh, I'm already look at that mess I'm making. Oh, holy cow! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We got to fix that. Ugh. All right, so we have all the uh, the repelling equipment, of course, attached now. I'm going to go ahead and say, I, um, I find that more annoying <laughs> than beneficial. And uh, you know every kid out there is going to get all those tangled up in a uh, complete mess when it comes to that. Um, not a fan of that. All right, so we have several pieces to attach here. Uh, this is obviously where the uh, turtles themselves would go. I'm assuming it goes just right in there yeah that was a very easy attach i'm assuming this one will go right in there as well yes indeed very easy attach uh both on these each side and that's of course to hold the turtles in i guess they don't um i guess they already know the repel system is not super great so that's going to be too well that's not super great either it just fell right off it doesn't really attach in there uh too well um and that was all the way in so uh somewhat flimsy but <laughs> they do uh potentially hold your turtles onto the blimp thing itself. Let's see, we also have a little piece here. Um, according to, yeah, that's where it attaches, it looks like. And does it just push in there, maybe? Yes, it does. And so, of course, these are little wheels. Those wheels, um, <laughs> they're just painted on there. I guess it's not meant to, to roll in any fashion. I mean, it is an air vehicle. So, we have the little wheels on there. Let's see. Sets up nicely. These, of course, will go on the blimp itself. So let's attach the fins to the blimp. All right, so all the um, fins, of course, have been attached now. Uh, not gonna lie, those were a little bit harder to get in than I expected, and they didn't really seem to uh, snap in or anything. It just seems like sort of a, a loose push in on all of them. But let's get the blimp inflated and uh, see. Oh, we probably need to attach that first, don't we? And then we'll inflate the blimp. So one more second. All right, those were a little bit even tougher to get into the other ones. However, they all actually had a nice little, uh, not necessarily a click, but definitely a little lip that it went over to make sure that's attached nicely, which makes sense because I guess they can be holding the turtles up. It's gonna have to attach a little bit nicer than the other side. And look at these, these are already in the way yet again uh, on that. Oh, uh, uh, I hate this repelling stuff. That is not, not my favorite when it comes to that. But let's get it blown up and see how it looks. All right, that took a lot longer than anticipated to uh, inflate. And um, if you have like an air compressor or something, it's probably a lot faster. But just uh, doing it for your own uh, hot air, gosh, it takes forever. But uh, I mean, it's awesome looking. That's a great, enormous blimp there. Um, great quality. I mean, I am really impressed with that. Uh, this these all attached much nicer than I had anticipated them holding onto there. Uh, down here, of course, the um, you know you have the little place to hold the turtles. 
all the rappel uh, pieces as well. And um, it all looks really nice uh, together. Um, on the top here, it said there was a way to hang it on the box, but I don't see any, um, I don't see any uh, hooks or anything to hang it by. So I'm not sure if that's just missing from my model that it left off, or if that's just something that was um, left off of this model in general. But there are no hanging tabs that the box claims that there are. So that is, that is of note that those two are missing at least from my particular one here. But overall, I mean, my gosh, the uh, the artwork on here, the, of course, the damaged parts of the structure, the little engines, this is, this is a great, a great looking blimp, a great looking model. Let's see how the uh, the turtles themselves fit into the, uh, the blimp, and we'll take a look at it overall from there. All right, we got our four turtles here. Now, according to the, uh, the picture, uh, Donatello is the one that is uh, driving the blimp or commanding the blimp or piloting the blimp however you'd want to uh, say that let's just push that box right on off the table there um, and so uh, let's see here we have Donatello this is hard to do uh, put one hand on there that boy, that's a that's a tight fit for Donatello <laughs> you have to really push them together to get him to even possibly hold those once again this this piece was not made for these uh, this era of turtle and so uh, you can see, you know, he sits pretty nicely on it. He's not leaned back. Um, that could possibly be something to do with the uh, piece not being made for these turtles. But it looks okay on there. And then, of course, through here, I guess you just, you know, just simply push them push him in there. Is that right? There you go. They fit pretty nicely in there. And of course, you get Michelangelo back here. Let's see. Well, there we go. Yeah, they just sort of pop right in there. And on the back side... Uh, we'll put Leonardo here as well. Well, look at that. I mean, this the quality on these things just sort of breaking off is um, <laughs> it's not great. Um, maybe it'd be easier if you put the turtles in and then attach them. That might be the easier route to go. Uh, but, of course, you can do it that way as well. And that might be a little bit on the easier side so they don't just sort of, you know, pop out on there. But they are pretty easy to pop out. From it. Let's just try Michelangelo on this little rappel thing while we got him here. Let's go ahead and uh, put this up here like so and um, let's put him on that. Um, I assume you just sort of um, attach it to his back. Is that right? Uh, that should be pretty handy like there. Let's, um, this is a, a, I'm not going to lie, this is a cumbersome toy to... Uh, navigate and to play with all right so we have him attached let's uh see how the repel action works of course you can see him on the screen there and let's see here and we're just going to push the little button and oh wow that is uh that is that was some interesting repelling action for michelangelo um you hear my cat running around a little bit as well. That um, that is, man, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this um, bottom piece. It just does not seem to be made. It broke or it didn't break it, but it took the turtle belt off on putting it on there. Oh man, I'm just having a, a tough time with this whole scenario down here. Not a fan of this bottom piece. I don't like the, um, the repelling action. I don't really prefer. I don't really like the um, cases they're in. Donatello over here, poor little fellow, looks like his. His arm was never really done well anyway from the reissue, but it looks like his arm is about to break off and being bent in to hold the pieces. Um, overall, yeah, I'm not, I'm not real satisfied with the, uh, the bottom piece of this turtle blimp because, once again, it wasn't made for, for these turtles. So here we have it, guys, the, uh, the turtle blimp reissue that's sort of a hybrid between the uh, 80s model and the uh, 2012 model. And... Um, me personally would not recommend buying this particular uh, turtle blimp. I was really excited when I first saw it on the shelf. Even knowing it was a hybrid model, I was pretty excited about it. But I really do not like that bottom piece. I don't like the repelling method. I don't like how it houses the turtles. It sort of bends them out of shape. They don't fit in there well. Um, overall, it just seems like a mess, that whole bottom part. I don't know why they wouldn't use the original part. And because it's such a cumbersome mess, um, I probably just wouldn't really recommend this particular 
turtle blimp. If you just want to have one for display, yeah, I mean, it's sort of cool for that, I, I, I guess. But um, even then, you're, you know, you're probably going to always realize it's not the uh, complete original, especially when you realize how cumbersome the, uh, the bottom piece looks with the turtles in it. But that's a real shame because I really did like the other reissues that have come out this year. I really like the uh, turtle van really faithful to the originals i really like the um the turtles themselves those are also pretty faithful to the originals i don't know why they decided to do the tur turtle blimp a little bit different but um me personally i would probably say this is a uh, a little bit of a pass when it comes to the uh turtle reissues but um, if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to the channel as always go out there find a great game to play and just simply have a great rest of the day